Hey guys, we're playing some more L.A. Noir, and I believe where we left off is where I was gathering clues from these neighbors, and uh, they weren't giving me anything good. So, uh, let's go ahead and get up here. Let's see if, I, if, if it's saved, and I actually talk to this guy. Yeah, I talked to him, so it, it actually saved where I last left off. Will game actually give me uh, an objective here? Nuclear cigarette butts, blah blah blah. House to be demolished. Okay, I'm not getting any. This is Dudley Foreman, the guy that I was questioning. Okay. New clue, weekend away, blah blah blah. Interview neighbor. Neighbor or neighbors? Is it just one neighbor or neighbors that I'm supposed to interrogate here? Oh, guys, I'm at a loss. They won't let me interview any neighbors. And I don't have any other clues. It might be time to use intuition, guys. I don't have it for nothing, anyway. Okay, no, no, I don't want to go back down there again. Time to use intuition, guys. I have all five intuition points. There are only two clues. What the fuck is he doing? The controller was screwed up there for a second. He was going in the wrong direction. He's way over here, huh? Wait, wait, where did my clues go? Where did my clues go? Dude! Dude, come on! I just used an intuition point and now I don't know where the clues are anymore. Oh, I haven't, uh, I evidently didn't save this, huh? It's interesting. Oh, I didn't look at these. So I didn't look at that part of the clue yet. Turn on this guy's. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, so they said, they said there's another clue over here somewhere. I'm at a total loss. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Any lead is the lead. Totally pointless statement, but whatever. I, I already, I've already been over here. Guys, this is ridiculous. Why would I use intuition if then it disappears afterwards? There's supposed to be something over here, but I don't see what that could be. We're somewhere in this general direction over here. Use it again. I don't see what else to do, guys. Oh, I can't use it again. If they won't let me use it twice, oh god. <laughs> now I'm really fucked. I was fucked before, now I'm really fucked. Oh man. <laughs> He's this asshole. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? This is a crime scene. All of you move along. That's walked out on the I'm out of here. Fuck, man. <laughs> I don't know what 
to do. I don't know where to find shit. Let me talk to my partner again. I'll see what he comes up with. Come on, asshole. Help me out. Need more from the neighbors, Cole. Keep working. What neighbors? Yeah, you said that twice now. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. See ya? I saw his picture in the paper. He worked that case. The lady was kind of like a dog. What neighbors are there to interview? There are no neighbors to talk to. There literally are none. Okay, there's gotta be there's gotta be something I'm doing wrong here. Which I think that's wrong with the game. One of the two. And, and the moment it, it does point towards the game being wrong. Are there that I can interview? It's fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. I don't know what to do. It's still showing me that one guy, but yet I already interviewed him. And why is it still showing him then? I understand why it's showing my partner, but it's not showing- it's showing this- this asshole. What?! I couldn't talk to him before! I swear to god, I went right up to him, and I hit- I hit, uh, square, and it would not talk to him. <laughs> Bullshit. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Ford. Four for correct. Wow. Hey, if you're interested, I have Oops. one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I can get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. This guy doesn't know what origami is. Paper crane. I mean, someone's not educated. There's a legend about them. Oh, well, it's not even education. It's origami. Not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I see you already have one. Same one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Finally got our clue. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire.
Publisher. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. McKelty? Can you put me through, Operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Leads on the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Thank you.